I spy with my little eye something beginning with S. Sky. I spy with my little eye something beginning with C. Cloud. I spy with my little eye something beginning with O. Oil? I spy with my little eye something beginning with American. G'day, I'm Ash. I hope you're all doing fantastically well. Welcome yourselves to the dev server. Now, as per usual, everything is subject to change. F off with that kind of stuff. Moving on. Today, we're going to be primarily focusing on aircraft and the helicopters. If you want to see ships and you want to see tanks, there are other content creators for you. Go subscribe to them. I don't have a dandy idea what there is about tanks and certainly don't have any idea what's going on about naval. Anyway, moving on, there are some interesting changes. There's not a great deal, although this is the last patch to the end of 2020. Yes, 2020 is nearly over and all the suffering can uh, finally end, although it's not quite over just yet. There are some interesting additions to this particular patch. And uh, starting off with America, we've got the A7D here. Rank 6, but already 9.7. It's got the M61 cannon, so the 20 millimeters, with a thousand rounds. I thought, mm, okay, a 10.7? Initially was announced at, but now it's a 9.7, so they've lowered its battle rating. It can carry AIM-9Js, two of them. It's got 120 flares. Yeah, I know. It's got a flares modification. And the modules I've got installed here are 2,000 pounders. And I've got six of those, on three on each wing. Now, max speed of 1,123, and I think you can read the rest. Armor-wise, I'm not going to bother reading all over that. It's got armor for days. It is a ground pounder. Well... I guess it's a hybrid of one. I can't remember, was it the A8 or the A7 or the A6? I can't remember. There's several versions of these, and I want them to come to War Thunder. Anyway, there's a quick look at the X-ray. Pilot, radar, uh, self-sealing fuel tanks, and then that massive, massive Allison engine in the rear. Anyway, let's go have a look at the mod modules, because this is particularly interesting. There is too much to talk about here. So it's got your regular selection of air-to-air -air missiles, and obviously you've got your bombs and what have you. You can also get your Mighty Mouse rockets. Fantastic, if you're into that th kind of thing. Now the interesting one here is cannons times two. You can go with the 30 millimeter gal cannons, the 13As, with 700 rounds of ammunition. Bloody hell, that is quite a lot to play with. And obviously you can equip your AIM-9Js as well. But there's also, of course, if you really want to, to put two pylons with 20 millimeter cannons, Again, with quite a bit of ammunition, 2,400 rounds. I think that will suit you for a few days. I can tell you that much, knowing how America likes to fire them. And of course, you can go with just dumb ordnance and whatever. But let's just take a look at this thing. So we'll just select that. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm just going to say this now. An absolute chonkin' bastard this thing is. Anyway, moving on to the next aircraft. The next aircraft on the list is the PBM-1 Marina. Now, we've had this aircraft in the game files for a very long time. It was only about due that they added this particular thing. Why? Because we've had the PBM-3 Marina, which can hold six magnetic mines, or sorry, eight magnetic mines, and is utterly broken, so it's from the fact that it's rather slow and, and rather, I guess, outdated at 3.0. This is rank 2, 2.0, five turrets at 12.7s, and you can hold up to a thousand pounds times four bombs. There is other modifications. Again, it is a bomber. I don't really need to spend too much time here. It's a nice addition, but again, not something that is particularly useful Useful. Now, we'll jump over to another nation now, so we'll jump over to Britain, we'll show you what Britain has, and we'll go through the other things, because majority of the aircraft are F-84s, and we'll get into that in a second. Now, Britain has, obviously, the Buccaneer S2. It's a rank 6, but a rank 9.3. Now, it sits directly uh, in front of its own lane, so directly below the camera there. Holy hell, that's interesting. Uh, with a top speed of 1,111 kilometers an hour, it is an absolute... I, I mean, it's gorgeous looking, but it's also really strange looking at the same time. Again, where's the Sea Vixen? I'd like to see that in game at some point, and there's a heap of other British jets. But hey, Britain, rejoice, you actually have something to at least play. 
of course, AGMs times two and aim nine Bs and obviously an internal bomb bay. Now it is a rotating internal bomb bay, so we've been told, so it's gonna be interesting to test out. You have to wait for the video on that one. But anyway, secondary weapons wise, this is where this thing goes absolutely mental. You can get all sorts of things on this thing. Like legitimately, bull pups with a thousand pound bombs, you can get yourself a thousand pounders, five hundred pounders. Aim nine Bs, however, are the limiting factor with the air to airs. You can get your RP three rockets and your RN uh time seventy two rockets is basically equivalent to the uh, the Mighty Mouses. But that is really about it in terms of what you have. So there's a lot of options here. But again, if you're like me, you'll just end up by running the air to airs, the aim nine Bs, and that'll probably do you just fine. Although it is only two aim 9Bs. There is no offensive armament on this thing at all. And at 9.3, guess what this thing comes with stock? It doesn't come with air-to-airs. It comes with 524 pound bombs. That is its stock loadout. <laughs> so this thing is going to be an utter meme machine. There's no armor protection. And on the X-ray, it is basically fuel tanks, double wing spars with a weird circular pattern around the engines, and then the Rolls-Royce uh, Spray 101 jets with two crew. Now, it does have a radar, so that should be particularly interesting. And a quick look at the modifications there, just in case you wanted to have a look there. It does get flares, so that is at least a good sign for the aircraft that it does travel at about 1,000 kilometers an hour. So yes, there's that. Now, moving on to the Hornet Mark I. This is something that we have been waiting for for a while. I think it's been in the files. I'm not entirely sure. We have the Hornet Mark III in game, but this thing is rank four, uh, battle rating 5.7. It does have four 20 millimeter Hispanos. They are the Mark Vs with 760 rounds. So that's fantastic. It can also come equipped with your regular bombs and your rockets, your RP3s, your AP Mark Ones, and so on and so forth. There aren't really much to say about this particular aircraft, aside from it was, I believe it was something like 8,000 GE to buy this thing. China has the last of the World War II aircraft that we'll see this particular patch. And again, I don't know whether this thing has been in the game files for long. This thing looks completely new. It looks like an advanced trainer slash ground attacker. And that is exactly what it is at Butter Rodding 1.3 Rank 1. So it's directly below the HS-123. And yeah, it's a funky machine. Four forward firing Browning 7.62 millimeter machine guns. Uh, yeah, I don't know that this thing is going to be particularly useful, even though it has 2,400 rounds. It does come with two 250-pound bombs, and you can get up to, if we have a look up here, there's also a 500 that you get under sling. Now, it wouldn't be a Gaussian patch without some sort of controversy. We've jumped straight over to Sweden. Sweden gets two new aircraft, Saab 105G and the Saab 105OE. Now, these are slightly different aircraft compared to the SK-60B. SK-60B is cute and all and very nice, but it only does 792 kilometers an hour. And obviously, you can only get, basically, you can only get certain modifications of this thing. You can get the cannons and obviously the RB-05As, basically proxy fuse anti-killing absolutely everything machine this thing's not a, a monster now you upgrade the speed upgrade the engines upgrade the avionics change this and streamline the aircraft well you get this thing saab 105g 947 kilometers in line with vampires and and so on and so forth but not not quite as fast i hope that it retains some of the maneuverability of the previous airframe but notice it doesn't have the gun pods what is wrong here let's go to modifications and i'll show you something because this thing, do not adjust your headsets or your TV screens. This has an RB24Js. These are the same missiles used on the Draken, as far as I'm aware. In fact, let's just double check that one live right now. Uh, let's go that one, that one, that one. Mastered, crew not mastered. J35 at rank 10.7 modifications. Yep, exactly the same missiles as the Draken at 10.7, except this thing gets four of them rather than two of them. And... This thing is battle rating 8.0. Okay, that's not the only bullshit that happens here, however, because unlike the SK-60B, you don't get any of the other missiles, or should I say the other unguided rockets, or guided rockets. You have bombs, and you can have your gun pods if you really want to, but there is no real option aside from the R24Js. Fantastic, right? No, because it gets worse. The, here is the SR-105 OE. Now, I mentioned it was a new aircraft. Yes, because this one's a premium, and I quite like the camouflage on this one. <laughs> I look forward to using this thing, but uh, are you noticing something? There seems to be two pylons on each wings. 
And they also seem to have things which counteract the other. This is basically the combined effort of both of these aircraft. The SK-60B with your um, B-05As, your guided rockets, and then your the same missiles as on the J-35. And this is premium. 8.0, 947 kilometers. Again, they're both basically the same. They're the same airframe. They just got a different camouflage. Except this one gets access to these missiles, <laughs> right? And it's a bloody premium. Okay, like, I, I don't understand. I'm not going to get mad about it. <laughs> it is subject to change. There is no armor protection. There are two pilots. There seem to be upgraded engines with more thrust. Um, there's nothing really much else to say here about these things. And I guess now we're going to have, have a look at all the F-84s. Starting off with America, right? Every F-84, as far as I can tell, is uh, basically identical. This is the F-84F, the America gets one. It can hold HVARs, it's got 12.7s. So it's particularly interesting because these things can do a thousand kilometers in level flight with no ordnance. But I put ordnance on there just to make it look pretty. Essentially, Germany, however, also gets one. And you can see it without ordnance. I think this one's probably the best looking out of all of them. Jumping right over to Italy. Oops, I showed you the helicopters. We'll get into those in a minute. F-84F, rank 5, but running 8.7. Where does this one sit? Right below the F-84G. Ah, but that's not all, you see. We can't forget France. Who gets a premium version? What is the difference between this one? No idea. It's exactly the same. Every F-84 in the game right now, France gets two of them, is exactly the same. There's five of them. <laughs> so, again, there we go. In terms of armor, it's got a f bulletproof plate, 30 millimeters, or 38 millimeters, sorry. And then there is an eight millimeter behind the pilot. X-ray wise, they're all identical. They all have the same ammunition count of 1800 rounds. They are all M3 branding machine guns, and they've all equipped the same ground ordnance. So I don't understand. And on screen, you're looking at one of the reward vehicles, which I currently can't have a look on the dev server at the moment. This is the top tier reward vehicle for the Operation Winter. I believe it's Operation Winter. Who knows at this bloody point? This is a MiG-21. Yep, MiG-21. And the other aircraft here, I believe, is called the RO-57. Uh, and this is an Italian aircraft. So those are two really interesting things. And with that, I suppose that we're going to go on to the helicopters to round off this video. Right, so Italian helicopters. This is the AB-205A1, essentially Huey. It gets Vulcans as well as some basic missiles. So there's that's fun. Snebs, if you really want to call that fun. Moving on, this is rank 5 A.0. Uh, the A109EOA-2, I'd like to say that 10 times over. I'm waiting. Rank 6, but running 9.3. BGM-71, tow missiles times 4, you get your Mighty Mouse rockets times 6, and obviously 12.7s in the gun pods. That's good. But what other modifications does it have? Black jacket, night vision? Nah, th that's basically it in terms of that. I'm not going to go over the top speed or anything like this, but again, very disappointing ground target ordnance based system. It isn't until you hit 9.7 when things really start to heat up. So good luck grinding these things because this thing is essentially the same as the premium. This is the A129 CBT. Make all the jokes you want about this one. It's an Augusta. This is rank seven, but running 9.7. It can hold uh, Hellfires. It can hold the Mistral air to airs, 7 mil Hydras as well. And obviously the 30, 38 of those Hydras. It's also got a 20 mm cannon and it gets flares and it can have an IR dispenser and a, or, a, a, you know, all that kind of things. So yeah, modifications. You can either have the IRCM or you can have the flares. So there's that. If I install this, the flares go away. Um, and there's that. But yeah, that's Italian helicopters right there. And I think that does it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm incredibly exhausted. I have just built a new PC. I am playing on it right now. I'm testing a bunch of things. Um, and I'm trying to get editing software back up and running because making videos on a fresh system is harder than you think considering you don't have access to all the source material. Anyway, uh, that has been your brief overview of aviation. Let's just say those Saab 105s are going to be impressively interesting. And I'll see you for some gameplay in some of these vehicles coming up on the channel in the next coming days. Right, my name is Ash. Thank you for watching and um, like, comment, subscribe. I don't know. Just, just go be, have, have, have good.